Okay, Addis Maximus here. Just wanted to document more electro electrolyte tools just because they seem to be kind of like the Wizard or 1970s or so house brand that was actually not too bad, uh, especially considering, I guess some house brands are better than others these days, but back in 50 years ago, everything was, even house brands were made in America. Actually, I've only reviewed, I think, one electrolyte tool think that was like a pair of slip joint pliers but it had a kind of a cursive font that seems to be slightly more modern with a uh, more squared off or sans serif font and industrial finish forged alloy seal this happens to be a double-ended box wrench 7 8 by 13 16 and just wanted to document it really nice straight forging on this actually to tell you the truth uh, that's why I saw it and I picked it up. I actually thought it was like a New Britain or something like that. A really nice brand. And maybe Electrolytes back in this, when this was made was a really nice brand. But it just I just kind of got sh struck by just how even the forging line was going down. They didn't sand it all the way down. So maybe not the penultimate and uh, finish work on it. But otherwise, I mean, a really nice straight wrench. Of course, is actually I think... I mean, snap-ons have flank drive for a long time, but many wrenches didn't. This one does not. Still has a pretty tight fit. One thing I was going to comment on is the grinding on the box ends. Really pretty straight and even. I mean, you run into a lot of wrenches now where it's like angled one way or angled the other or really kind of curved but really lopsided. And this is just really squared off. This may not be the strongest wrench, but uh, we can see because the buckle just isn't quite that thick but certainly would have fit into a lot of places it's not particularly tall for a given size say on this uh, 7 8 which is about uh, 22 millimeters 21 22 millimeters a little bit bigger 7 8 is 22 and a quarter millimeters so you can get away with the 7 8 if you don't have a 22 millimeter same thing on the 13 16 side this was really maybe a little bit of lopsidedness here but I was just surprised I was like oh that looks like a neat little uh Carbon finish wrench, American made. Uh, I always do like the industrial finish. And it just seemed to be pretty square, pretty straight, pretty even. And it happened to be electrolyte. So just wanted to make a short video about it that uh, old school electrolyte wrenches really aren't so bad. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching. See you next time.